Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to the Elder Scrolls 3 Mo Rewind. Where we're in the Armun Ashland still. I believe previously we went into that Daedric ruin, killed lots of Daedra, and then were foiled by a slightly steep incline in one of the tunnels at the bottom and were therefore unable to proceed any further because we're all out of levitation potions. Probably this is a standing on the fire again, which doesn't seem very safe to me. But we're just camped outside the ruin at this point. Uh, have we eaten our dinner yet? Well, not really, no. We could we could have some stew in the morning, though, I think. Um, you are warm. Yeah, just, I wonder if just the, de the desert does seem to get quite cool, cold, cool during the night, doesn't it? If I walk away from the fire, the temperature bar at the bottom there is, is pretty much neutral. Once we step away from the fire... Uh, and at the moment, our, our present goal is just... I don't really know, actually. There isn't. There kind of isn't one, really. We're just sort of um, meandering around the Ashlands looking for uh, something to do. There's, a, there's an Imperial settlement around here somewhere in this region, which presumably has some quest for us, but uh, we haven't found it yet. I've just been enjoying the exploration for this for exploration's sake because it's probably my favorite thing about Morrowind um especially with Tamriel rebuilt so let us get some sleep on our swish new velvet pillow liberated from the hands of the Daedric worshippers well, it's 5 a.m we've been up all night um let's see seven hours ruin our sleep schedule it's 12 yeah it's, it's midday let's get this all packed up Uh, have some cold stew for breakfast. If we've got any left, we do. There we go. Um, Publius. Publius, would you like to hold on to the tent for me, please? And the tent cover, wherever it's got to. Somewhere in here. Flint steel. Ah, there it is. Thank you, old bean. Probably still has his stats majorly debuffed at the moment because he uh, he got a lot of uh, he's contracted a lot of diseases <laughs> from wilderness creatures over the course of our playthrough, and I've yet to figure out a way to cure him. I and, I and before anybody mentions it, I know I could cure him with various console commands or by installing a mod or anything like that. However, I know I know all this. Um, I'm choosing not to because I'm finding it an interesting exercise. Um, of my, my Morrowind game knowledge to try and divine a way of fixing him just using vanilla game mechanics. Even though he should not be in this situation and it's kind of dumb. Also, there's some Ashlanders here who... Oh my god, look at him go! <laughs> oh, Publius and his endless enthusiasm for combat. It is quite a thing to behold, isn't it? Try not to die, Publius. Um, is this guy hostile? I'm not sure if he is. It's hard to say. Judging by the way Publius is reacting, I'd say he probably is, but... Yeah. I think he's just stuck. Let's put him out of his misery as well. There we go. Let's take their stuff. Take that soul gem. But right now on our fix Publius shopping list is I need to get um, a restore attribute spell. Um, or, 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 or even just, just a cure disease spell, actually. Or, and cure dis blight disease probably as well would do the trick. Then we need to find an enchanter and enchant some sort of trinket with the spell effect. For that, we will need um, a soul gem or two with some good souls in them. Um, I, I had a comment last time telling me I should soul trap the golden saint when I summon it. I don't think I actually can. I think with Morrow and Rebirth, you can't soul trap your summons anymore. Or at least if you do, they have a way worse soul level. Mm, bread. Nom nom nom. Ooh, trauma root. This is mad, mad useful trauma root because you can make levitation potions with it. We should be grabbing every bit of trauma root we see. You start a tribunal on your Morrowind run. Good lord, am I already losing all enthusiasm because of the sewers. 
It's navigation. It, it's like the uh, it's like the Fallout 3 Metro, isn't it? But worse. Um, nevertheless, I do have some fun memories of the Tribunal um, Old Mournhole Ruins, actually. The quest where you have to go right down to the bottom in the bo absolute bowels of the earth to find the Lich. What was his name? Barrelzar or something? I actually kind of enjoyed that. I, I like I like Journey to the Center of the Earth type adventures, to be fair, though. Uh, you know, anything that reminds me of that or the Mines of Moria from Lord of the Rings just tickles me. It scratches an itch deep in my soul somewhere for the desire to go exploring really, really deep, dark caves. And they call it a mine! A mine! We're right at the edge of the map now, aren't we? Yeah. Doing a bit of hiking. Don't mind the weird spooky noises. Just normal in this part of the world, apparently. Ooh, a cave. Just upstairs from Ald Balal. That's interesting. I wonder if it's at all related. Wonder if this is a kind of back entrance or something, maybe. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious. Uh, I am going to put my damn helmet on, though. Just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a glass halberd last time, didn't we? New melee weapon, everybody. Glass halberd. Minecraft cave noises. They uh, do. They do sound uncannily similar, don't they? Nope. Claudius, buddy. It's more of these damn clan fears. Gotcha. Well, his surname's Claudius. Publius Claudius. You note that at the top right there. Uh, what have we got here, then? That's something I can't get to, unless I've got any racer plumes. The, de the one time you want some cliff racers so you can harvest their plumes. Not a single one in sight, eh? I think this might actually be a back entrance to the place. This might lead to where we were earlier. But I could be wrong. It, it does look very similar, though. We've got these funky crystals. we got a clan fear. Multiple clan fear. Publius, if you die, I shall resurrect you with the console and kill you again myself. Aha! Uh -huh. This does look familiar. But according to my little minimap thing here, we've not been here before. So... I, I really don't think we should go down here. I'm not convinced there's gonna... Wait, I see a potion right there. Probably just throw down a rope for me, will you? <laughs> oh, okay, we have a way out. Gonna get breakfast. All right, see you, Zeta. More funky crystals. Oh, 
Hello, it's clan fear, and it's not like it's a regular clan fear too. It's not the weird ones. Publish, you actually hit something there, my dude. I'm proud of you. Where's my bomb amulet? I need to do a little bit of smidge healing. Uh oh. All right, kill this douchebag before he gets a chance to do some real damage. Ugh, hate those guys. I play Dark Elf character, Dark Elf characters so often that I kind of don't. I guess I don't really take them seriously enough, Fire Atronax, but then whenever you're playing someone who's not a Dark Elf with 75% fire resistance, you, you, you suddenly find yourself in a world of pain dealing with them. Red Lichen. And a gap that I cannot possibly jump across. Oh, I could use my one bargain levitation potion to get across, but then we would have no way back. Oh... Any intervention? We do, we do have intervention, but I don't want to. I don't want to use it because it's going to take us a million miles away from where we are currently, and I'm not done exploring here yet. So intervention is our is our nuclear option for getting ourselves out of a cave we're stuck in. But I don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. Half your playthroughs of Skyrim was with Nords, so you laughed at the draw of frost magic until you played any other race. Yeah, similar deal, right? Let's use this to get out of here. Oh, I got I got a mod that means that uh, Publius can tra teleport with us, uh, Luca. Yeah, I we, we I I sorted that out. Oh my god, he somehow ended up in the ceiling. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, no, I I, I got a I got a mod that fixes that. It's also, I think, the one that adds the health bar at the top right. Might be wrong, though. Kind of wonder what's up there, too. Probably just magma, though. I'll, hang on. Let me look in the mod config. It is... I think it's Easy Escort. I think I think it's easy escort. I think that's the mod that makes it so Publius can travel with us when we use scrolls. Is do you think the the convenient barrel full of torches is the Morrowind equivalent of the Skyrim door? I'm starting to feel like it is. Just need to. Sorry, I just need to wipe my nose. Keep my nose clean, as the Skyrim guards like to say. No lollygagging. What are you doing, dude? Are you stuck? No, he's just teleporting. I guess maybe he was stuck. We still haven't found any of the Ashlander camps. However, I've noticed that the Ishanuran camp has been marked on our map by someone. So, I might go check that out soon. Somewhere to rest and recuperate and sell a few things. It's sort of to the northeast of where we are right now. Hello, Furiosa. Well. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're not doing too badly. Maybe cure our friend. Unfortunately, no. Uh, that's going to require some enchantment shenanigans. Probably this is a little beyond your standard variety of fixing at the moment. Uh, while we're at it, I wouldn't mind an amulet or something that just does cure, you, you know, heal, um, restore health on target as well, so that we don't have to wait an entire week to to restore his health. Uh oh, it's one of those big ass. Nasty Kagutis. Let's let's try and give that a wide berth, shall we? Never mind. These guys have just the most amazing aggro range. I'm um, Kaguti hide. 
What is our spear skill these days? It's 46. I feel like we were not hitting nearly as often with our swords when our blade was skill was was 46. I feel like we always seem to have more success with spears when we use them. Now what's this place? Have we already been here? Kerhu. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. Talk if you're talking. Excuse me, I don't talk with people I don't like. Hello there. Interesting. Welcome to Kerhu Wanderer. Let me know if you see something you like. Please don't touch anything, okay? Not too shabby, eh? Me and the lads set up this shop a few years back. We've got a wide assortment of goods to sell here. Armor, weapons, clothes, jewelry, you name it. We got it. And all this stuff is perfectly legitimate too. Fell off a caravan, so to speak. Oh no, you have a deprecated, do you? Oh, they got one. he's got one of those weird gas mask helmets. Native Craig and Bone Mold Helm. Native Maradli Bone Mold Helm. Now that one I have not seen before. I've got an Indoril shield as well. If you wanted to piss off the ordinators, we could, we could buy that. A Bone Mold Open Helm. A bizarre helmet. Constant effect blind 100% on self. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Quite the selection. I don't think I want any of it, but it's quite the selection anyway. I'll take that and those for potion making. You got any cliff racer plumes, mate? Doesn't look like it. Scroll the figgies gem feeder. Nah, I could find that in random barrels and boxes. Taigua! Oh my god, everybody, it's a Taigua. I feel like I should buy it and give it to Publius. Um, I think that's, yeah, we're good. Um, Ness, do I, do I need any repair implements? I, I actually do. So I'll have these. There you go. Fix up my gear. Especially the bow, wow. Alright. Always makes your day to see another piece of legionary deprecatus' gear out in the wild. <laughs> we got to collect the whole set and get a perk per bonus. Now then, where are we going? To the northeast. That's right. I need to find a reason to. I'm, I'm enjoying exploring all of this so much. I really am. I need to find a reason in the Mor uh, uh, the Morrowind let's play, the Oblivion let's play, to get finally get Jazir to elsewhere. Um, and out of Cyrodiil and into elsewhere because I really enjoy exploring all that again, I think. That should be bully. Discount some Triceratops with only two legs. I 
could get a, a screenshot of one of these guys lying like this at just the right angle so that I can Photoshop Jeff Goldblum on, onto its chest doing the listening while breathing thing. Have you noticed that ever since Lego cancelled Bionicle, the world has gotten more dystopian, and in every dystopian future they never mention Bionicle being brought back? Coincidence? Hmm. Bionicle was... I was about to say, Bionicle was great. Was it, though? It, it was great when I was a kid, but everything's great when you're a kid. Shittest video game ever made is great when you're a kid. Wait, Bion Bionicle has law? <laughs> eh? My interaction with Bionicle was started and ended with the uh, with the actual little kits you got in the tubes and uh, the little crappy plat 2D side-scrolling platformer game. My brother and I just made up our own fucking law for our little guys with their swords fighting each other. I think I think we may have even done a crossover episode with Bionicle versus Action Man at some point. Action Man one, he just shot them with his assault rifle. And then I think maybe ran them over a few times with his Jeep. <laughs> Okay, the, the, the camp's around here somewhere. If I had to guess, maybe it's on top of that hill. How dare you remind me of Action Man. <laughs> You're welcome. Cliff Racers! Just circling around the summit. That's quite picturesque in a way, but time to die, assholes. As soon as I can actually hit you. There we go, got, got one. It's like shooting rats in a barrel. Plunk. Oh, you're kidding. That's typical. Action man, it was yes, he was he was the British equivalent of G.I. Joe. Guys, one of the mummies is moving. I right, probably just had enough of this, apparently. The mummies also appear to be making noises. I don't like it. 
cursed ancient burial ground, folks. I, 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 I'm... What would a desert level in a video game be without a mummy anyway? Also, I, I can't loot it because it's just fallen backwards into the rock. How annoying. Oh, one moment, probably. So I'm just going to phase through uh, time and space to loot this mummy. Oh, it just, it just had a chitin spear. <laughs> Who cares then? Right, I'm going to leave this place because it is cursed and horrible. No, thank you. Goodbye. Brace your own of Brendan Fraser. Oh, I, 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 you know what? That's what I'm doing later today. That's what I'm doing this evening. I'm watching the mummy. Well, that wasn't... Maybe that was it, then. It just says Ishinurin Camp, and that was, like, pretty much on the spot where we were supposed to find it, so... I'm confused, unless the camp's just down here on the other side of the hill. want scarabs inside you? Because that's how you get scarabs inside you, yeah. Do I think I've said in the past that if the next Elder Scrolls game is, is Hammerfell, I'll be a bit disappointed. And I think I will be a bit disappointed, but having said that, Hammerfell does mean lots of desert levels. And as previously discussed, I do love my desert levels in video games. If I can go r run around exploring the, the, the Elder Scrolls equivalent of how we go, the Elder Scrolls equivalent of the pyramids getting chased by mummies, I think I'm going to have a good time. Plus you've got the whole thing with Yakuda and everything, so there's kind of like an Atlantean kind of vibe going on with it too, which is pretty interesting to me, so... I, let's just say Hammerfell has the potential to be actually be really cool, but I don't know if Bethesda will actually make it really cool. It's a bit of an open question, because they're capable of creating this, but they're also cre capable of creating Oblivion, which was just the most vanilla of RPGs you've ever seen. Get out of here, go back to where you, where you came from. Well, yeah, we're off on a good, we're off, we're off to a good start with these guys, aren't we? You play serious set. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy seems a little more uh, open-minded, but he still doesn't like us very much. Outlander, what troubles do you bring to Ishinuran? Oh, come on, man. I've no idea how to get him to like us. I like what I like. Yes. Other than to use our bug mask. The Ishinuran are an old tribe clan. Long have these lands been ours. I have been Ashkan many years. Some rich times, some hungry. Hungrier times recently. I am Mibinadha. Mib... <clears throat> Uh, let me get this right. Mib, Mibdinahas, Ashkan of the Ishanuran. Mibdinahas. Okay. You got anything else to say, my dude? Is beneath an Ashkan to trade rumors. I guide the Ishanuran only along the pathways of certainty. Truth has more value in these lands than gold, Outlander.
I do not like to boast, but my people call me a champion, a noble warrior of the Ashlanders. I have the duty of protecting the honor of the tribe in peace and war. We are the true people of Resdane, heirs to the legacy of the Prophet Veloth. We will not disappear, no matter what the House Dunmer would prefer. Few would call these Armun Ashlands hospitable, but these Ashen Hills are our home, and we love our home as children love their mother. We have been here for many centuries and shall remain in times to come. <laughs> I bet Moody here wouldn't mind saying no to a bribe of a thousand gold raised disposition. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But he can whistle for it, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, hello, what's this? This is unusual. Shallow burial. Ah, oh, it's a burial cavern. Probably ought not to go in, but at the same time, I'm curious. All right, they have more mummies here. I've seen enough. <laughs> you talk too much, Outlander. I think there's a bug with the Outlander dialogue. Because these guys are not should not be saying this. And the the word Dunmers doesn't seem right to me somehow. I think there's a mod somewhere that is given that dialogue topic response to NPCs that shouldn't have it. Give me that charm right. I get any racer plumes in the end. I didn't, did I? Oh, look, they got beetles. Hello, beetles. Thorough of Dunmer is Dunmer. Yeah, it's like sheep. Oh, they don't seem overtly hostile. See some Dwemer ruins over there, I wouldn't mind checking out. But for now, I think we'll just camp out here. Nearby, but not in their camp. Let's get the stuff out. This day went past pretty quick, didn't it? But then again, we did sleep in for like half of it, didn't we? So, uh, yeah, probably this. I need the tent. <laughs> Give tent, please. important velvet pillow and uh, have we got much in the way of firewood have you got any firewood nope we're all out of firewood I'm not sure we really need a fire actually necessarily it's probably warm enough here that we can get away without even though it's a desert so it'd probably get quite cold at night but uh, I think we're wrapped up warm enough I think we'll just go without. Although, I tell you what, let's just enjoy what's left of the sunset in the meantime, shall we? So, uh, there's a Dwemer ruin. Anything else in the distance? There's a Kaguti in the distance. Please do not come here and attack us in our sleep. That would suck. Time to burn the priceless literature. Ah, uh, yes. Do we have any priceless literature right now? I can't remember. Hmm. Most of the time. Coming up on 20 to 4. Well, well, I mean, what do you want? Me, what, what do you want me to do, Django? There are no enchanters out here in the middle of the desert. There's no enchanters and no damn mages guild to get the spells from. We'll get around to it when we get around to it, Publius. 
You still got more hit points than I have. Rest has been interrupted. What but Hello there! Gonna roost on top of my tent, will you? Ugh. The game's laughing at me. Also, it's raining in the Ashlands. That can't happen very often. It's a little unusual, isn't it? Oh, it's 6 a.m. We're well rested. I guess that'll do. We've been woken rudely a little earlier than intended by a cliff racer, but I guess now we're up. We'll, we'll, we'll just make do. Let's have some stew. Let's pick all this up. Why can I never find the tent cover? There it is. There, there we go. Yeah, weird. It's raining in the Ashlands. That, uh, that, that's unusual, to say the least. If I did this very often, it would be a lot more green out here, wouldn't it? All that fertile volcanic soil. Should we just get rid of this guy, get it over with? Dice scoundrel. Costing the wildlife and calling it scoundrel. That's peak Publius right there. Got him. Let's put our skirt back on. It's damn right chilly today. last one we found was just full of outlaws, wasn't it? Also, I count one, two, possibly more cave entrance things over there. I mean, that's a tomb. That looks like it might be a mine or something. And a lost guar. Hello there. We'll come and pick you up on our way out of here. Another lost pack guar, everybody. There's something a little MMO-ish about the uh, the Lost Pack Guard quest, you know? But I, I kind of like it. It's an, it's an excuse to get out and explore a bit. And they do reward you quite handsomely for each one, so... Please, somebody remind me later when I when we get out of this place and I'm, I'm, I, 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 will, I will inevitably forget about the Pack Guard unless I actually see it. So, if I don't see it, remind me later. Man, that thing looks like if you just leaned on it casually, it would fall over. Just give it a wee nudge. A wee nudge. Uh, I've never done the Fighters Guild in Undothran V. Uh, Django. So it wasn't it wasn't me. It was definitely V. I haven't done the Fighters Guild full stop in years. Ah! Costed by another beetle. Oh, long blade skill increased to the nice number. Get in. What's this over here? It's just a piece of flint. It is, isn't it? No. Yeah. I was thinking. I was hoping maybe this would lead us to an entrance, but nope.
How much have you missed? Uh, well, we started streaming around two o'clock-ish, so... You've probably missed about an hour of gameplay by now, maybe a little less. Or maybe a little more, actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> you missed the epic starting soon screen, of course. And I don't mean the usual one this time, we had a special one today. Oh no, a dead one! I hope it wasn't dead the whole time. I mean, I hope it was dead the whole time, I mean. I hope these guys didn't... I hope it wasn't alive and then was killed by these guys, and therefore I've now been cheated out of 500 gold by a pair of stinking Kaguti. Sorry, I take it back. A trio of stinking Kaguti. Oh my god, Publius is about to die. He's dead. Oh god damn it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. My poor squishy companion. I don't need you to wait at a, at a safe distance, Publius, I think. Oh, is that another Patguar over there? I'm seeing just, just over the edge of that hill there. Directly above my crosshair? I think so. Also, there's another Dwemer Ruin entrancey thing over there. Interesting. Oh, there's the grumpy Kaguti in question. Right, probably it's just wait here, mate. And don't wander off too far. He does like to wander about a bit. Uh, let's see. Steel image. When the hell did I pick that up? Must have got it from a book or something. Alright, have at you. There we go, we got the 69 increase again. Oh, don't knock me down. Oh, pl oh my god, my health! Where has it gone? I would like it back, please. I'd like to speak to the manager. Uh, what? No, 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 no. What in the goddamn, man? These are all rubbish. Give me something useful. gonna be fire resistant these guys aren't they yeah uh, forget that then well that's doing like nothing to him our moon kaguti matriarch that explains a lot it's not your regular garden variety, Armun Kaguti. It was the big mama. There we go. Whoa. That was a fight, wasn't it? Frost arrow. Okay, that I didn't. I didn't stick it with any of these arrows. These were arrows that were already sticking in this thing, and it was still alive, and still very capable of murdering me. The old one eye of Kaguti over there. Dead Caravangua. Okay, this was dead already then. <gasps> A pillow. No, we can't turn into our vein of Thela, so I'm not I'm not collecting pillows. Just the velvet one is good enough, thank you.
victory bread. I'm numb. <gasps> Nord meat. Yes. It was the matriarch that chunked about 350 health off Publius earlier after you got him almost fully healed. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. That, so, so it's the matriarchs that are the authors of all my companion related pain recently. Okay, it looks like there's kind of an entrance here. Can we crawl through this? We can! Halls of Muck, everybody! Barzamthuand, Halls of Muck. Sneaky does it. Oh boy. Are these guys weak to lightning? Or is it frost? Yeah, Publius is definitely sitting this out. Is it frost they're weak to? Let's switch it up then. Steam Centurion. Oh, there's more. Well, I am where platter, everybody. And do I miss schematics? I imagine Antonio's just looking at all this like, <laughs> stupid old antiques, who cares? Ah, empty. Is a wee bit toast in here. Yes, it is, isn't it? Because of all that damn magma. Stealth Archer mode? No? I think I'm hitting the light fixture. Yeah, I was. Well, this is embarrassing. There we go. Oh, he's got health, this guy. He has serious health. Oh my god, we can level up everybody. Hooray. There we go. I'm gonna, as soon as there's not enemies nearby. All right, I'm gonna crawl back outside then, fine. And rest for an hour. You've ascended to level 12. You can't believe how easy it is. You just have to go a little crazy and then suddenly it all makes sense and everything you do turns to gold. All right, let's have some more endurance and some agility and some strength. Back in, let's go. Can you make enchanted arrows in this game? Uh, I, I suppose you can, but um, it would be a very inefficient use of soul gems because I'm pretty sure you can only make one arrow at a time. Oh, okay, not with that mod's called and Furious. But, right, that would make sense because, yeah, if, if, if you could, you would have to do it one arrow at a time and it'd be so pointless. Wouldn't be worth doing. Prefer Skyrim system of using enchanted bows. I don't really mind either way. Using enchanted bows is kind of, I guess, makes more sense. I mean, you could enchant a bow in this, though, right? I don't know. Can you can you do that on? Can you can you do on attack enchantments on a bow in this game? I don't think I've ever tried to do it. I never play archers, so so you can have a magic bow with a magic arrow with two separate effects. Right, that's the way to the observatory. We'll make a mental note of that and come back this way. You can enchant a bow with not with with not but not with the use on strike. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it makes sense. It's all about the arrows then in this game. In which case, yes, I think I probably do prefer it the Skyrim way as well, where you just enchant the bow. Rather than not being able to have a magic bow at all. Do I have a long spear? That's 
A pretty good spear. Not as good as the halberd, though. Boots, Dwemer Schematic Centurion, Repair Prongs, and a Dwemer Scrap Helmet. That's kind of cool looking. What version of Fallout Power Armor is that then, eh? Huh. Sorry, I'm going to cover up those glorious locks of hairs of yours, Antonia, with that helmet, because it, protecting your noggin is a bit more important. Did I, did I check these? I think I did, yeah. Clara Loft Spear, that is. Oh, is it? I see. I think I, I missed the stream where he actually got that spear, but I know he did have a Dwemer Long Spear. Very axe, I mean. He's all empty. They are. Finely tuned scrap metal. Oh, this has quest written all over it, doesn't it? else to do in here looks like there's two entrances weird dark trio p like in skyrim not really no You can't really do any stealth archery in this game, for one thing. So yeah, we can't get in there. How do we get in there? There must be another way into this place. Maybe through that other entrance we saw in the distance earlier. Ah, there is. Via the bridge that I can't get to. Unless this cliff racer up here wants to give me a cliff racer plume so I can make a levitation potion. Come back here, you critter! I want your plumes! A oh, gotcha. Nice one. Now I'm just gonna go down there and get his corpse. Yeah, but I think, don't, can't you, I, I feel like you can't do sneak attacks in this game with a magic weapon. Am I misremembering that? Or, or is that the case? And I, I assume that must also surely apply to magic arrows then. Like, if you have an enchanted weapon in Morrowind, you, you just can't do sneak attacks. It's not allowed. It's weird, but it's just the way it seems to work. Let's go back the other way. This, this way seems silly. This this big cliffside here just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Oh wait, the damn cliff race is here anyway. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, some cliff racer plumes. Steam says you've played Morrowind for a thousand hours and I don't think I've ever gotten a sneak attack. Yeah, uh, I can I can count on one hand the number of times I've gotten a successful sneak attack in this game. Alright, so there's this as well. I'm not sure what the deal with this little place is. 
Yeah, admittedly you can combine archery with, with levitate to just completely cheese the game. That is true. Requires a bit of investment though, doesn't it? Dwemer coin for the collection. What do we have here? A Dwemer spear. Dwemer throwing vial. Marksman. Cast when strikes. Fire damage 25 points and 8 feet. Oh my god, it's like D&D fire pot things. That's amazing. I'm going to use it. Oh, this is hilarious. I got little Dwemer grenades. Everyone says Morrowind's story makes Oblivion pale. Morrowind's story is a little less exciting to actually play through. And to be honest with you, most of Morrowind's story doesn't really make a ton of sense until you get to the final act of the game. In which case, every you finally get all the lore dump and everything makes sense and you suddenly realise, oh, okay, this is actually really cool. But up until that point, Morrowind's main quest is like just kind of okay. I'm, be, I'm uh, this, this is slightly. This is a slightly smouldering hot take here. A lot of people are going to be very unhappy with me saying that Morrowind's main quest is anything other than a masterpiece, but it's better than Daggerfall's main quest. At least it's a lot better than Daggerfall's main quest. But um, Morrowind's main quest really only like you have to stick it through to like the final act, and that only then does everything kind of come together, and you start to really enjoy it. But the rest of the main quest is an awful lot of go to this person, talk to them, do a stupid errand for them. Go to all of these different people, try and get them to vote for you in a thing. Some of them are in really awkward and annoying locations. Good luck finding them. Most of the main quest is more or less doing fetch quests for exposition to make sure you care about the fight with Dagofer. Pretty much, yeah. The corpus bit is probably the only bit, the only part where it becomes where you have even even a whisper of, of urgency about it, and it starts to get a little more exciting then. Oblivion's main quest is sort of backwards, you know, like, the, actually the, the first sort of, like, half of Oblivion's main quest is actually pretty darn cool, but then the back end of it is just loaded with fetch quests. Uh, well, to be honest with you, Crooked Shades, uh, like, Daggerfall has it beat in that regard. Like big time when if you want if you want power struggles and internal politics daggerfall's main quest on paper at least uh beats the snot out of morrowinds um but that's the problem it's on paper and not actually in practice hiya a sand chop Something else down there once it's dead. Yep. Hello, Sunny Jim. Allow me to maneuver around here so I can get a shot at you. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, there's loads of them. My God. Place is crawling with these little buggers.
one more hit should do it. There we go. Daggerfall, the best RPG of all time, theoretically. <laughs> that does sum up the game pretty well, actually, yeah. I'm actually wearing my Daggerfall t-shirt right now, by the way. Just happy coincidence, that. Oh, come on. I'm all out of those arrows now. Combo breaker. We had a good go run going there. There we go. You as well. This is riveting gameplay, I know. Well, that did quite a chunk of damage, that did. Wayward Realms is going to be vapor. What do you think? I don't know. We'll see. I hope it isn't, but we'll see. hammer there if anyone wants it. Halls of the Mazoon. Flame, I guess. I'm gonna have to go back to that other Dwemer ruin to get more arrows at this rate. Oh, it wasn't a Dwemer ruin, was it? It was that uh, old Velothi place. Oh yeah, the, you can play Daggerfall on the Unity engine these days. It's uh very much up to date and has an active modding community as well. That game has had a bit of a renaissance these days. Machines doing stuff. Who knows what? Grimith still plays it regularly, does some cool character builds. Oh, man, Grim Grimith is just a glutton for those kind of. Well, I mean, how can I put it, really? He's a glutton for the exact kind of RPGs that I hate. <laughs> There's an RPG out there that I've played and didn't like very much. Grimith probably loves it. Oh, hello. You look slightly larger than the average Steam Centurion for some reason. 
Oh, he can he can absorb or reflect or whatever. This guy he he seems pretty. It's an advanced steam centurion. Yeah, I wasn't imagining things. He is larger. Ow! Indeed, yes. Ow! Fucking hell! That was half my health gone. Goodness me. An Armoon Steam Centurion, yeah. He was guarding the cafeteria, apparently. Everything from Armoon is evil. This place is cursed. Here, a Dwemer halberd. Well then, oh, it's not as good as the glass one. That is a damn shame because it looks kind of cool. Oh, that is a shame. Halls of the Mazoon. Again. Apparently. Oh, I s yeah, I hear a Dwemer ghosty. Luckily, my orcish claymore is able to hit ghosts. Some ectoplasm. I'll pass, thanks. This looks fascinating, though, whatever this is. Fascinating, and, uh... It looks like if I touch it in any capacity whatsoever, I'm going to start the plot of Half-Life. Uh, so let's leave. Uh, we're, we're actually still in the halls of the Mazoon. It's just uh, it's just one of those weird doors that takes you to two separate points in the same cell. That's why it's called halls of Mazoon. Kadumzunch. Yes, back in the game. Except now we're down at the ground floor here. Sort of. I don't know if you guys can hear it because it's very, very low level, low frequency bass. But I can hear a boom, 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 boom. Like maybe the sounds of a steam centurion marching around. Machines, though. This this whole place is really cool, though. I have got to say. I don't know what they were, the, the 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 Dwemer were doing with this place, but it's interesting. There's kegs everywhere. There's obviously a lot of plumbing going on. Like a, I don't know, a water purification plant or something. I don't know. Dwemer's sewage treatment plant. I like the murals though. That's a new and interesting addition. I mean, you look down this uh, here at this. This is not. Uh, this is not lava. This is weird purple goo underneath this grill here. I wonder if it's in any way related to those big purple crystals we found in some of the other caves. Dwemer oil refinery, yeah, maybe. I mean, Dwemer oil is a thing in this in this in this universe, right? So It's 
to Amma Muck. Yeah, we are in the halls of Muck, I suppose. We were earlier, anyway. I assume the oil isn't for massages. No, it's for putting potions in Skyrim. <laughs> did, I, did I loot this? Did I check this? I sh surely I must have done. Yeah. Don't mind me, I'm having another senile moment. <sighs> ah, daylight again. Publis is probably wondering where the hell we've gotten to. Hello, Mr. Gua. Um, okay, so there's a Gua here, and there's a Gua over that way as well. Mental note. I'm not quite done exploring here yet. Alright, let's go, man. Let's roll. Once we pick up the guas, we're we can't tell them to, like, wait or anything, so that's why I want to get them just before we leave. Hey, Pac-Man. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. I really do appreciate it. See, there's the other guar. But, yeah, there's a tomb over there. I guess I'm probably going to ignore this. I'm going to investigate it to see if it actually is a tomb, but if it is a tomb, we'll leave it alone because we're not grave robbers in this playthrough. Uh, that, that is a skeleton, which is usually a sign that it's a tomb. Hi! -ya. Yeah, it's an ancestral tomb, so we'll leave that alone. Um, and we'll check out the other little uh, cave mine entrance or whatever it was that was over in this direction somewhere. Here it is. Let's stop for a minute. Let's have some stew. There we go. Just a scare because it's warm again. What do we have here? Pooh man. You stay here. My squidgy friend. What say you? Caves or burrows you should not explore. Well, I I mean I'm not playing a grave robber, and that's somebody's ancestral tomb, so I'm not going to rob it. It's called role playing. Hello. All right. We're not wasting any time, are we? Clearly some no good outlaws here. Spiked iron right pauldron. It's rubbish, but it does look kind of cool. Some good old fashioned bandits, ladies and gentlemen. Die. ABCs for barbarians. They got moon sugar, they got all the usual stuff. Oh, hello. Is that levitate? Did I see? No, it's slow fall. Silver battle axe of fire. Moon sugar. <gasps> Code of flat. Give. Uh, as levitate. As does racer plumes. And that's some scuttle. 
Nom nom nom. We looted one ancestral tomb in this playthrough so far, and that was because uh, the person whose ancestral, whose family it belonged to, gave us express permission to take stuff from it. It was right at the start of the playthrough with that little side quest. We were helping that lady uh, clear the place out. But aside from that, we haven't looted any ancestral tombs. There's Publius. He's waiting outside. I didn't want to bring him in at the moment because he's feeling particularly squishy at the moment. Hello, soldier. Hello, soldier. Scroll, medium quality. I just, I'm curious, I wanted to see what this helm looks like when it's open. There you go. Right, curiosity satisfied. I'd like to kind of play a noble knightly character in in, uh, in Morrowind one of these days. Maybe do the Fighters Guild, because there are no knightly orders to join. But you know, just be going around in the, in the, in the classic steel armor, doing knightly quests. Maybe join the Imperial Cult, I guess. Poor silver bow gets bent out of shape relatively fast, which probably makes sense for a bow made of silver, now that I think about it. Doesn't strike me as the most sensible material to make a bow out of. Potentially. Is this character using scrolls? Uh, oh no, we, we, do, we do use scrolls. Yeah, we use scrolls and potions, but uh, no magical spells. Um, and no tomb robbing. I am gonna. I do have a couple of spells here, but they're they're one of those I think I accidentally got from a book, and the other two are a glitch. We do need to get some, buy some spells though for enchanting purposes though at some point. this guy come from? Have I been down here yet? Oh, I actually haven't. Isn't silver decently hard? I mean, I got we've got some silver spoons downstairs, and I think they bend fairly easily, so... Yeah, this, uh, this Orcish Claymore, it's a beast of a weapon, isn't it? I'm rather fond of it. Sort of jammer. Not as good as Nord Mead, though.
tackle low pipe. Ah, <laughs> uh, madman on. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. sometimes that I didn't mean to do that. Ugh, yep, 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 yep. I do forget sometimes that probably is I can actually repair some of my stuff for a fee. But I'm a bit of a skin flint, so I get it. Alright, well that's that checked out. Let's go round up those guars, shall we? Stray Caravan Gua. Um, hmm, interesting. Now are you coming with me? In the past, all I had to do was walk up to them and press the E button and then we were good. But this one's a little stubborn, apparently. There are some stray caravan guas that do not count for the quest. Oh, well, that's very unintuitive and silly then. I'll go find the other one, I suppose. Ooh, look at that sky. Look at that sky. Which, which star sign is that, do you reckon? The thief, maybe? I don't know. So this one doesn't want to come with us either. Alright, fine. Never mind then. Harumph. Harumph, I say. Harumph. Well, since we don't have to backtrack to take those gua with us anywhere, we might as well just carry on wandering along wherever we feel like wandering. They wish to remain per permanently stray. Yes, they're back in the wild and they're enjoying themselves. Uh oh. Hello. Oh no, Publius, don't. What are you doing, you, you clown? Uh oh. Oh, sweet mother of God, no. No, 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 please, no. I have no idea where we last saved. Oh, thank God. My obsessive pressing of the F5 button has paid off. The fact that I don't even do it consciously anymore is... is amuses me and is also handy. It's convenient. Kagoo tank, yes. Super Kaguti. Alright. Got a little knock down there. Son of a 
biscuit. There we go. Oh, here it was another matriarch. More arrows stuck in it. Sometimes you quick save after quick saving, just to be sure. Oh yeah, the classic sort of the game just auto save, but I'm gonna get quick save anyway. I do that a lot as well. What do we have here? Are you scumbags or are you friends? My money's on scumbags, but you never know. Oh, well, maybe they are friends. But then you never know. It's weird. To, you can't always say with the AI in this game. Sometimes you get within five feet of them and then they sucker punch you. That happened last time. Be careful, Outlander. The den of the great... Ganahiro is near. What? Hansi and I are hunting the great Ganahiro. We tracked the great beast for days and found its den. We've made camp here under the wind and waited. Uh, the beast's belly is now full with the meat of a guara devoured. It is sleepy. It is slow. The time is nigh for the hunt to begin! Can we join you? This is not some common allet or kaguti we're hunting. This is the Garnahiru. It is old and powerful. Many have tried to bring it down before, but all have failed. Are you sure you want to join the hunt, Outlander? Hell yes, we do. Very well then, Outlander. You may join the hunt. Here, take this bow and these arrows. Ordinary weapons do not harm the great beast. I'm not going to use your, your kite and short bow, but I guess I'll use those arrows. Now let us go. The beast's den is just north of our camp. We must approach it slowly and quietly. We mustn't let it see or hear us. The element of surprise is our greatest weapon against it. Surprise and our fanatical devotion to the Pope. Oh, I'm going to leave that here. Where did I get those Ebony Harris from? Uh, where are the cruel... I got the Dremor grenades. Um... Where's the cruel frost arrow? There we go. All right, guys, we're hunting. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. We're hunting a Nahiwu. It's not a cliff race, is it? Oh, it's coming this way. Christ on a bike. That's not what I need right now. Go away, Cliff Racer. You're just going to be annoying, aren't you? You're going to keep patrolling backwards and forwards. There we go. Meow. Plonk. The Gahanahiru just wakes up and wonders, what the hell just fell on my head? Is this the beast in question? Oh, thanks for the plumes. Shh, the beast is there. We must lay low. Let us find a good spot and loose our arrows upon it. You decide when it's be the best time is to attack, Outlander. Very well. I kind of wish I could lay traps of some sort in this game. I'm mostly just incredibly worried about Publius right now. Lovely plumage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I don't mean to do that. Never mind. Ah, let's just get this over with. Although, no. Let's uh, 
save, and now let's get this over with. Oh god, Publius is making a beeline straight for the bastard. Don't! Oh, there we go. We did it. I was expecting much worse, and probably I would have taken a lot of damage if it had managed to hit me. I suspect. The great Ganahiru is dead. We have done what, the, what whole generations of hunters have failed to do. The deed is done. The great beast is no more. All the tribes of these Ashlands will know what we did here. Thank you for your help, Outlander. You may claim the beast's hide as your prize. It will fetch a pretty septum in one of the towns, I'm sure. Awesome! Ganahiru's fabled hide. 7,500 gold! Holy crap! Also, nice little selection of arrows here. Alright, I suggest we make camp here next to the dead great Ganahiru. Or actually, no, why don't we go back to these guys' camp? Look <laughs> at Tweedledum and Tweedledee here. <laughs> Publis didn't even get hit. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm amazed. I, I really, I was really expecting him to get one hit killed there. Good luck saying that. Wow, you know, we're playing Mara and Rebirth, so I'll probably get a thousand for it maximum. Oh, do I see another Guar over there? I think I do. I'm not sure if it's a bad Guar though. Yeah, let's camp here for the night. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's raining again. Well, that sucks. No, I'm not going to rob them. I just wanted to see if there was anything cool in there. Fun if the Ashland merchant gave you a special prize for it, though. Yeah, the, the guy in the cave, you mean, or, or someone else? Salad a creeper. I know who you mean, HJ. Yes, that guy. The, that one Ashlander merchant who wrote that book and has a ridiculous amount of gold on him. Yeah, I know who you mean. He's in the Rab... Uh, no, the Zynab camp, I think, right? Well, that was overkill, wasn't it? I just realised what arrows I had equipped there. <laughs> of some sort over there. It's not one we've been to either. Hurry up, Publius. What are you doing? You loony. Get over here. Look at us intrepid legionaries out in the wastelands. We're actually chilly right now. Looks like a Halalu mining operation of some kind. Maybe the museum in Amalek's would buy it. It would be really cool if it did, wouldn't it? I assume they probably won't, but it would be so cool. You've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Othrus Ruriville. How can I help you? You do travel? Oh. 
Uh, reserved for the people working for Sergio, Thola, and us. Alright. Probably some house Lalu stuff. It is indeed a mine. A mine! You make a special just for you. Not an egg mine, though. I was expecting egg mine. It's not, though. It's a legit actual mine. Alright, well, uh, our voods over to our east, a little, little, just a hop, skip and a jump away from here, but, uh, I'd like to go this way. Hello, Cliff Racer. Cliff Racer fly so high. Just hold still. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, Marksman is so worth it in this game just for being able to get to the point where you can one-shot a cliff racer from a distance. It feels so good. Oh, it's ended up in this pool along with a skeleton. to you then, matey. We got stabbed by someone who was on the, on this bridge, by the looks of things. Tumbling over the side. And if he wasn't already dead, he must have drowned. I'm sorry, game. I don't like to cheat, but sometimes you make me do things I don't want to do. This looks kind of like a little road, this, isn't it? Leads somewhere. What are these things? Oh, Ashyams. Wow, they're, they're a lot larger than I thought they'd be. I kind of thought of Ashyams as being little sort of potato sized things. These are huge, though. Do you ask a good, very good question, Morgan Harper? I don't know exactly. I don't think... When they fly across the landscape, they do so in a straight line. They don't sort of, like, go down and follow the contours of the terrain. So, I think they do fly in a sense. I think they effectively just have a permanent levitation effect on them. Yeah, you know. Because when you when you when you make when you when you get an NPC follower to levitate like Publius here, I've noticed that he kind of behaves a little bit like a cliff racer when he follows you around. In the way he in, just in the way he moves around the three D world. Size to Skyrim. I guess it varies depending on the type of Ashiam we're talking about, right? I mean, potatoes come in a lot of different sizes after all. None of them quite that big, but still. I'm going to lay your anxious a little bit like a cliff racer. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? Uh, Um, oh yeah, it's, it's an army Ashlands, uh, Ashyam. So therefore, it is the bigger and meaner. The army Ashlands is just like Texas. Everything's bigger here. Well, this is a new route, or 
Is it a new ruin or is it just the other side of one of the ones we've been to before? I'm not sure. I think it looks new to me. Whoa, it's a vermite. Hello. You guys are creepy. Vermite. Uh, they are. They're they're added in Tamriel rebuilt, but they previously appeared in Battlespire. They're they're a type of Daedra. Isanati's shrine. Uh, once again, Publius, I'm afraid I think you're probably going to have to wait outside, mate. Guard the entrance for me. How's Morrowind compared to Oblivion in Skyrim? Not graphically, of course, but his games overall. Fond memories of Morrowind are never really carried over to the that never really carried over to the other two. Well, it seems like you've answered your own question almost. Some things Morrowind are better. Other things Oblivion does better. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I am. Um, with the wisdom of a little bit more age, I've sort of come to the conclusion that all the Elder Scrolls games do certain things better than the other ones, and certain things worse than the other ones. According to Todd Howard himself, typically with most people, the first one they played in the series tends to always end up being their favourite. And I have observed this to largely also be true with a lot of people, so... I don't think they are necessarily any better or worse than each other. They're just different flavours of rather nice cake. I am getting a sense of deja vu here, but I don't think we've been here before. Oh, hello. Are you guys hostile? Beerman the Healer. I don't know you. What do you want? I'm Beerman the Healer. Healer! <laughs> I'm a locksmith. I'm a locksmith. Uh, I'll take your levitation potion and these. Actually, I'll take the lot. Thanks very much. These are not owned. Apparently, I can take these. I feel like you guys are meant to be hostile, hostile to me, perhaps, maybe, but I'm, I'm just you're not. Are you? You're not. You're an enchanter, in fact. Hello. Look at that. I'm, I'm not going to take these. This clearly belonged to these people. The game hasn't got them marked as owned, so therefore I theoretically could take them if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. It clearly belongs to these people. They seem perfectly nice. They're not attacking me. They are the rare Daedric cultists who actually seem to have a sensible head on their shoulders. And that's fine. Outland, what do you want? Kind of weird, though. This is quite unusual, isn't it? The non-evil Daedra worshippers. I mean, yet they are, and and yet that's a that's a Mayrune's Dagon statue down there, you know? <laughs> and these clan fear clearly object to me being here. I wonder if there's a like a reputation system thing going on here. Like the only thing I can think of right now is because we killed the beast, the, like, whose name I've forgotten, the Gar Nahiru, did that give us like a reputation buff with like literally every NPC in the Armun Ashlands? And as a result of that, these guys are no longer attacking me. They're no longer hostile on sight. That 
That's the only thing I can think of. Unless these guys are intended to be non-hostile by design. Hello everyone, just passing through. Just want to drop in and say hello. Your friend or friendly local policewoman. You guys doing all right here? Yeah, you okay? What is this regarding Syrodin? Just doing a bit of Daedra worship, eh? Well, you know what I say. It's all right by me. Just don't go doing any human sacrifices. And we won't have anything to worry about. You do spells. Levitate while I'm gonna have that because I could use it to enchant something. What else have you got? He has a lot of spells, wow. I feel like these guys are not meant to be hostile because otherwise they wouldn't the 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 the, the, uh, the, the modders wouldn't have bothered to give them uh vendor stuff. Sadly, no restore attributes or restore health. Still, we got a levitate spell out of it. Yes, sir. A prayer to Azira, darkest darkness, the lunar Lorcan, on elemental Daedra, crimes of the tribunal. Healer upstairs sells spells as well. Oh, does he? I must have missed that. We'll go check him out in a minute then. But this is a refreshing change. The thing is, I enjoy the exploration in this. I don't necessarily have to have combat. I'm happy to just explore. I'm tempted to take that code of flower, but I won't. I should really um, play East Shade one of these days. I bet I did. I bet I'd really enjoy that. It's that sort of Skyrim-like game, but its whole shtick is it doesn't have any combat in it. It's just exploration. If you've never heard of it before. It just has sort of places to explore, NPCs to talk to and stuff. Little quests to do. It's like a little social call from the police, yeah. <laughs> Just drop in by to make sure everything's all right. We're a police community support officer right now. Look at old PCSOs. You remember those? Anyone else here from the UK remember PCSOs? What Khajiit do for you? Poor guys got mocked relentlessly. It was kind of a nice idea, though, in theory, you know, PCSOs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having some of them around these days. But that's a whole. That's where we're gonna, we're gonna veer off into politics if I, if I say any more on that subject. So let's not do that. Oh, some healer you are. You don't have any store spells available at all. Harumph. Well, we've, 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 well, we've, yeah, we've checked it out. We've seen what there is to see. It looks like there might be another bit up there if we can levitate up there. But, uh, my levitation potions are rare. And actually, you know what? I, I tell a lie. We've got plenty of ingredients to make some more now, so let's do it. Let's get the alchemy gear out and make some potions. 
You watch me just royally fail at this now. I usually do when it's important. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's two. That's all we're getting. Uh, how about some healing potions, though? Marshmallow. Uh, I should have a, lot, a whole load of salt right here somewhere. There, there, there it is. Anything else? Resin. I think that's it. I think you ordered too much food. Oh dear. Your eye is bigger than your stomach, my friend. Where, where, did, my, where did my potions end up? Where my two levitate ones go? Oh, they're not stacking, because... Why are they not stacking? Are they different weights? Yeah, they're different weights. I'm going to use this one. Let's go up here, see if there's anything to do. Explore, yes! There we go, here we go, there's an extra bit. I don't know if there's anything worth coming up here for, but there's an extra bit. Where they hide the bodies. <laughs> yeah, come on. Probably comes out on another one of those funky balconies like the last place, right? Yeah, kind of. Not as high up as I thought it would be, though. Alright, well, that was interesting. Looks like there's another ruin over there. Although I think that one is... That looks... No? No, no. Albalaz all the way over there. That can't possibly be the same place. Um, where do we get down? Like this will do, I suppose. Hello, Publius. Some nice friendly uh, Daedra worshippers in there. You needn't have waited outside, as it turned out. Yes, yes, Velofi Tower. We had the same thought. Legion Brotato. Welcome back. Thanks for the six months of subage. It's already six. Already half a year. Good grief. Publish. The uh, the texture for this Nordic silver bow is quite nice, isn't it? I'm just looking at it now. It reminds me of Alduin's wall. Which, I gotta say, is probably one of the coolest things in an Elder Scrolls game, but unfortunately, by the time we actually got to it in-game, it was kind of ruined for us, because they used it in so much of the promotional material before the game came out. So by the time you actually got to the temple with the wall in it, you're like, oh, I've already seen this. Oh, it's the trailer wall, yeah. <laughs> it was cool, though. It was it was a nice bit of... Uh, sort of... Uh, I mean, Discover was pretty good for that, actually, when it came to sort of, like, ruin artwork type stuff. Like, ancient art and things. Like, wall carvings and, and that kind of stuff. All, all the sort of things that make archaeologists jizz themselves. 
it had a lot of that in there. Like you remember going into like the Hall of Stories in the in the Barrows, and you had all the different depictions of the deities on the walls. There you go. We were we were thinking the same thing. Okay, this place seems to be abandoned so far, but clearly somebody lives here. Definitely doesn't want us getting in there. Probably, probably some friggin' tell Barney lives here. He just wants to be left alone. It's usually the way this goes. Whoa! There's a vampire in there. Hello. Howdy doody. There's a couple of them, in fact. Somebody lives here who keeps vampires in their basement. I'm going to just sneaky peek. Take that muffin. It's my muffin now. Nobody has to know. Fascinating. That's like some... What is that in there on that table? Is that like torture gear or something? What's going on? There's a story here, obviously. Now I feel compelled to investigate. Luckily, in the Elder Scrolls, I don't need a warrant. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. They just love it when this happens. Interesting. Very interesting. Can I just shimmy around across here? There we go. This whole place has eccentric Telvani vibes. Fortify hand to hand. That's a rare potion to find, isn't it? Fat loot. Okay, that's the door we found earlier. I'd, re I'd be willing to bet. And we're back here. With two very ticked off vampires. I want to get in here. I want to check out this. Too complex. Maybe if I uh, switch to the master lockpick. It's got 12 uses left. Is that going to be enough? Please? Save's coming. I'm going to save scum this. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. We got to save scum. We're gonna save scum. And it unequipped my lockpick. That's weird. Alright, okay, now maybe I'm not gonna save scum. It would take too long. Um, have I got any scrolls I could open it? I think I used them all, didn't I? Oh, boy. How annoying. Maybe a journeyman's would be enough to get it open? Too complex. Fucking hell. What's in there? Oh well, never mind. Next time. Fission mailed. We'll get it next time. You 
actually install the lock bash mod crash the game every time <laughs> i don't know what it is about these games but lock bashing mods always do seem to be a bit risky doesn't matter whether it's this game or oblivion or skyrim every time i've installed a lock bashing mod i've always run into issues with it it must just be very difficult to work around for some reason in this engine what can change the nature of a man what are you replying to there oh that reminds me we should we should probably play tournament on the channel at some point maybe after we're done with Baldur's Gate eh How do I get out of this horrific place now? Oh my god. Hello again, Publius. Let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. Where are we? Let's go west. Towards that other Daedric ruin. That looks a little bit larger than this one. Let's keep talking. The game where combat is snooze and the dialogue is pog. Yeah. There's a lot of dialogue in that game. I'm getting used to having to read out a lot of dialogue by playing Baldur's Gate, but Torment's on a whole nother level. I just like the world in Planescape Torment the most. I think that's the big thing for me. Dialogue is whatever. I can get pretty, pretty. I can actually get quite impatient with dialogue a lot of the time. You got too much of it in your RPG. I'm I'm gonna start skipping, or at least you know speed reading it. Um, but I just really enjoy the world of Planescape Torment. It's the only isometric top-down type type RPG where I've actually really gotten much of a kick out of uh, exploring. Um, I'm nearly dead. I'm not quite sure how this happened. I got two arrows shot, shot at me, and then I'm, I was suddenly nearly dead. Some dickhead up here has got a really nice bow. Oh, it's one of you. Dramora Sharpshooter. I guess we should count our blessings that uh, he didn't kill Publius. Oh, well, well. Do we have some pain to look forward to in here? I have a feeling maybe we do. Thirteen! Thirteen! Right. Um. Bata. Ba. 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 Tippy. Ba. 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 Dave. Dot. Exe has stopped responding. Oh, and so is the game. <laughs> okay. Meshes, tr underscore death underscore b dot nif cannot be load cannot load it file in meshes slash tr underscore death underscore b dot nif will use the default object market underscore error dot nif continue running executable yes I think there might be a big deprecated oh no it's just straight up crashed the desktop ladies and gentlemen I do apologize for this little intermission oh dear one moment while we uh here, I'll give you the I'll give you the original starting screen for anyone who missed it earlier. Um, 
<laughs> Just give me a moment here while I run up the game and test to see if that crashes a second time. Yeah, um... I didn't expect that! My god! It's been a while since we've hit an error like that. And where the hell was I? <laughs> uh. Uh, Alright, let me just give me a second, folks. Let me try that again. Okay, yes to all. Uh, it loads it up. It loads the place, but it crashes as soon as we get in there. Like, I could I could see the interior of the ruin, but um, then it crashed. Yeah, there's something deeply balked in there. We're not, we're not going to be exploring that ruin. Sorry, folks. It's not going to be happening. Give me a second while I... Uh try and get us back to um my game is sort of there we go Morrowind kind of decided to just eat all of my CPU power there or something because I couldn't even my OBS shortcut stopped working there and I got a spinny wheel of death on my screen so not sure what was happening there but uh, never mind it's a cursed ruin yes if we go in there the entire universe will end Let's not do that. Don't know what could be causing that bug, frankly, but, um, never mind. Whoa. Man, I just, I dodged all those like a pro. I'm, I'm slightly proud of myself right now. Dead caravan guard. He's got the cool helmet. And the really cool pauldrons too. The old bone mold power armor helmet. I wonder if their guar is around here somewhere. The Ashlands are a lot wetter than I was expecting them to be, I've got to say. It's quite bloody rainy here. Aha! There's the Pagua. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, this one will actually follow us. Which is kind of inconvenient, really, because we're, we're quite far away from, from our vood at the moment. The little Ashlander camp over there. Ooh, there's a Dunmer Stronghold over there. Well... The, the Ashland as well, we were about it. Oh my god! Oh my god, what is happening? Help! Help! Why am I dying? Oh my god, we, said we came so close to death there. I don't know what it was that did so much damage to me, but... Oh, it was probably that spell that's now killing Publius. Ah, pants. Never, yeah, never should have come here, apparently. Wow. It's rare that you can't encounter random Ashlanders that ever put up much of a fight. But I don't know what spell that guy had, but it is OP as hell.
I'm gonna leave this pack wire here for now. I'll try and remember to come back from later. Is that another Dwemer ruin over there? Ah, it's actually, no, it's Barzam the Wend. We've been there already. Our moon Ashlanders, yeah. <laughs> A whole foot taller than the average, and they do way more damage. There's another Guar over there. I wonder if some of these stray Guar simply had, like, I don't know, the mod makers just accidentally forgot to add the script to them that makes them follow you. Because it doesn't make much sense otherwise. Or unless it's literally supposed to just represent the fact that some of the, some of the Guar simply do not want to follow you. This place looks interesting. Uh, I, I'm hoping they're not hostile. I'd actually like to just explore a little little Ashlander town in an actual stronghold. That'd be kind of cool. Halt, Outlander! Before I let you enter Volunfarian, that's little advice. You can go anywhere in the camp except for the Propylon Chamber. The elder sister resides there, and she prefers not to be disturbed. Okay. I am Uberasawa Dan. I belong to this tribe with no name. Interesting. He doesn't like me very much. But at least he's letting me in. Senepal. I am Senipal. I belong to this tribe with no name. He offers training. Well, I don't recall anything about this Ishanuran tribe. Please leave me alone. My head is killing me. Oh, there's something going on here. Prisoner's hut. Hello. Carrier hastily. I was tasked to do something in, in Kragan more. I don't remember what it was anymore. Okay, there's something definitely weird going on here. I'm sure there's someone else you can bother. This one's just called Dome. There's an orc here. That's not what I was expecting at all. Hello, Olumg. Imperial attack sister. Imperial dead, understand. Olum guard here. Protect the sisters. Do as they say. What now? Ahatu. We suffer you here only so long as you respect our ways, Outlander. What is it? I am Ahatu, the middle sister. We are the Ashlander witch warriors, women who defy the man's rules of behavior for women, mastering the man's weapons of war and the sorcerer's powerful magics. Craven men whine that we steal their vital essences to feed our dark purposes, but men are fools and cowards. Only women can understand the secrets of the ghost snake and its hidden mysteries that make men tremble like maidens. Delightful people, then. Um... You're interrupted by studies, Imperial. What do you want? I am Mar Utu, the little sister. I am a Mabrigash. Hmm.
Yeah, well, the, the whole men versus mer thing it really is. It's actually something I, I incredibly dislike. <laughs> I find it very irritating because it, as soon as gender comes into the question, it got it gets completely muddled up. Um. Because you don't call them woomer, do you? Female elves in this. They, they're not called woomer. So why 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 would you use mer in the sense of specifically meaning a male elf? Doesn't make sense. You should just do what Tolkien did and just call them an elf man or an elf woman. I'm going to go in here even though I was told not to. Call him Copperdorn. Must not hurt the sis elder sister. Call him is watching you. Colum doesn't remember his past, but it doesn't matter. Colum's body and soul belong to the elder sister now. Who goes there? How dare you disturb me in my sanctum? What is this place? You're in the propyl and chamber of Volan Farion and speaking to the elder sister of this nameless tribe. Perhaps you wish to join our cause? I wonder what would happen if you came here as a male pack, uh, player character. Um... I wish to serve you. I'd rather go die witch. That's humor. Just say, yeah, absolutely. Why not? Sign me up. See where it gets us. Is that so? Very well, then. We've been in conflict with the wizard of Sahutu ever since we settled in this fortress. His skeletal raiders are decimating our people. The cave is located somewhere in the hills to the southwest. Kill him, and you'll earn the hospitality of our tribe. Now get out! <laughs> Couple of slaves, huh? Alright, Publius. You don't seem to be under their spell just yet, so I guess you're fine. Alright, well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at the clock right now and I'm thinking this seems like a really natural stopping point, so, uh, ooh, liking that big mountain in the distance there, by the way. Is that the Cyrigyl border by any chance? It is, yeah. Then be the Valus Mountains over there, over yonder. Mountain Gandalf. Uh, we'll be checking that out another time, though, ladies and gentlemen, because I think we are, we are very much done here today. Let's take my little helmet off because it's quite a nice shot with the with the mountain in the background. That would be a good thumbnail right there. Um, so, folks, that's it for this weekend. Hope you've enjoyed. I certainly have. The I'm 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 loving this. The Armu Ashlands. This is the most fun I've had with Tamriel rebuilt for a long time, and that's saying something. So, um, this is great. This is really cool. And yeah, when we come back next time, we'll be well looking for this evil wizard, if indeed he is evil. Um, I'm hoping there may be more dimensions to this, frankly. Um, but we'll find out, won't we? So, folks, um, that's about all there is to say. I will be back on Thursday, where we'll be doing some flight sim. I don't know whether it's going to be IL-2 or if it's going to be Microsoft Flight Sim. I haven't really decided yet. Um, and then Friday and Saturday will be Baldur's Gate with Dudley the Destroyer. And then next Sunday will, of course, be more of this again. So, um, yeah, I'll hope. I hope. I hope to see you for those future streams. And if not, then uh, have a good one. And I'll catch you whenever I do see you again. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna see if there's anybody we can raid. Oh my God! Yep, yep. Give me back my mouse cursor game. Thank you. There we go. Right. Bloody hell. Who can we raid? Uh, Variax is streaming Stray. Oh, Stray! Like the little game with the cat? I never got around to playing that myself. Uh, we're gonna raid Variax. I'd quite like to watch him play that for a little bit, actually. So yeah, there we go. He's playing Stray. I think he recently finished Morrowind, didn't he? He's, he's streaming Stray for a little bit before he starts his next series. So, V is being a cat at the moment, yes. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, go over there and say hello to V. He's a lovely, lovely man. He's the reason I do what I do here. 
because he's the guy who inspired me to start my own channel in the first place many, 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 many years ago. Um, so go and say hello to him and uh, enjoy for the rest of you. I'll see you when I see you. And for those of you who have been watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed as well. I'll catch up with your comments later. Toodaloo, everybody. Oh, bye, Lost as well. Bye, yeah, bye, everybody. Bye, Colin about to be be interested in the computer. <laughs> He's not actually here at the moment. He's still outside, although it's, it's feeding time for him, actually, so that's what I need to go do right now. Anyway, toodaloo, everybody.